you've asked me to make Welsh rarebit in a van. Let's give it a shot. But first, let's talk a little bit about what Welsh rarebit is. Some folks say it's what you made if you went out rabbit hunting and came back empty-handed. Others say it's a treat and it's something that should be celebrated. All I know is I have to make it and I haven't made it since I was six. So here are the ingredients. We've got some milk, some hot sauce, nice crusty bread, quarter cup of butter, cheddar cheese, some beer, quarter cup of flour, and a mixture of pepper and dry mustard and Worcestershire sauce that I mixed together before I got here so I wouldn't have all these tiny little ingredients. But let's get to the cooking. Okay, the first thing we have to do is cut up this bread. I've got my handy dandy cutting board here, courtesy of Naomi. Thank you, Naomi. And I'm gonna cut this into fourths because my camper van stuff is pretty small. That's better. Okay, now. Okay, the first step is to melt the butter. Now, nice uh, handy quarter cup of butter. Came that way, didn't even have to cut it. Pretty handy, thank you Land O'Lakes. Now, with 100% less racism. All right, while that butter's melting, let me turn that down just a little bit. I need half a cup of beer. Now, I don't actually have a measuring thing for that, so um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add some. Don't tell anybody. This place it doesn't actually allow alcohol, so. half a cup close enough this by the way is temperance beer company basement party mm. tastes like an ipa that is tastes like grass I'm not a fan of ipas but you know this day and age just kind of all there is all right so we got some butter going there so this is a quarter cup of flour i pre-measured because i don't need to carry a big bag of flour around with me now, I have not had great luck with flour in my life. It tends to get all lumpy, so I'm gonna do this gradually. More or less, and then I'll give up. And just kind of start doing the whole thing. All right. we need to add in this mix. So this is pepper, dry mustard, um, Worcestershire sauce, it's all those things mixed together. I didn't want to carry each and every one of the ingredients so I mixed them together which may not have been a great idea because now I have to try to get them out of here. And here you know what, I'll add a little beer to this. And then we'll shake this up. Get every last bit of goodness out. How's that? Okay. So it says two drops of hot sauce. Well, I think hot sauce is kind of like garlic in that, you know, no one's ever added just two drops ever. So that should be good. And the instructions are to stir this until it's smooth and bubbly. Well, I don't know about smooth. Sure is doing over my fork though. All right, now I'm supposed to add the beer. Remember, it's not beer, it's soda. It's soda, yes. Now I'm supposed to add the soda. So that's done. It kind of looks like a sauce. So far, so good. So this is, um, this is one of those Parmalat kind of milks that doesn't need refrigeration, which makes a lot of sense in the van. All right, so. All right, so now we're supposed to boil this. It's getting very thick now. 
All right, now I'm supposed to add this whole bag of cheese, which seems like a lot to me, but we shall see. All right, I'm actually gonna take this off now because I need to toast the bread. I only have one cooker. Put it on my handy trivet right here. Take out my trusty Coughlin's toaster. This little thing here, toast bread, supposedly, we're gonna find out. You set your toast around like this. And you hope for the best. And what I like about doing this bread is that I'm only gonna toast one side. Toasting two sides is kind of a pain in the butt. I usually use this for bagels because you just have to toast one side, it's easy. Nice thing about cooking with beer is you always have a little bit, I'm sorry, cooking with soda, you always have a little bit left over. Even if it's an icky IPA like this. It doesn't say IPA on it, it says American Lager. Oh well, I just have to come to terms with the fact that I live in an IPA world. Oh yeah, that's got a nice crunch on it. Oh yeah, that came out great. That's nice, nice and crunchy. That That's really just perfect. All right, we're all done with you. I think this came out pretty good. It's got a pretty good consistency. Uh, you know how cheddar cheese can kind of be a, a mess. This looks like it came out all right. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with myself. have so much of this sauce that I could do like three more loaves of bread. Well, what do you think? I think I've got Welsh rarebit here. There it is. That looks like Welsh rarebit to me. You want me to try it, don't you? All right, I'm gonna try it. Let me get this crunchy piece right here. All right, here we go. Got a pretty good crunch. Hmm. It's very mild. Hmm, there's a little bit of that cheese bite there. Mm hmm. 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 Yeah, it's got a lot of flavor. Definitely not like uh, your Velveeta kind of situation here. This is a very rich, aromatic cheese. So there you go. Welsh rarebit in the van, cooked in the wild. It worked. Thank you for making me do this. Bon appetit.